Right, today on RC Falls, it's time to dig out the UDI RC drift truck. And I will, it's completely stock. I got the pro version. I bought it two years ago now, used it a few times, had a bit of fun, uh, and then it got put away. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pan down to the car, I'll show you what I've done to it over the last couple of days. And then we're going to take it out in this video for a speed run and uh, we'll see if the modifications have made any difference. Okay, so body clips are off. They're not the stock body clips. Um, they're some, I think they were fast tracks. I've got a big bag of them and they. I, I needed them for um, a one eight scale car and they're not robust enough so I never had nothing uh, else I could use them for they're actually quite quite flimsy so um, with the stock body clips that come with this being a bit small and a bit of a faff I've put two of those on uh, the rear even though they're there and these are Tamiya clips and they're very similar but a bit smaller than them and I've got those on the front so I pop the show off why I wasn't connected what I will do is uh, actually I'll talk about what modifications I've done now this is completely stock bar I fitted some oil shocks on there because obviously these come even the pro version of these come with friction shocks now um, I I messed about with the ones that I had on there, see if there was anything I could do. One of the things I do with friction shocks, other than replace them, which is always the best option. But um, one way that you can get a little bit of uh, improvement with a friction shock, I found, is you can get some Tamiya anti-wear grease, and if you use a little bit of that, it will give you a sort of limited rebound effect now don't get me wrong it's not a substitute for having oil damp suspension but I'll show, show you the grease I'm on about it's this one anti-wear Tamiya grease you get a pot of it and the pot you get it looks like my pot is empty but you don't get much more you only get about a little splodge of it it's really good for using in diffs, like plastic diffs on, on the Tamiya's. But um, the smaller shocks, I've, uh, like little friction shocks, I've had some good results using that. But uh, these don't need it because obviously I bought these um, less than 10 quid to the door, AliExpress. I'll put a, a link in the description uh, to those if you want to get some. You can get them um, on eBay. But they're usually like 15 16 pounds and i wasn't in a rush uh i wasn't in a rush for mine so i think i paid about seven pound from on aliexpress once you factor in the tax and delivery like to me door it was about about 10 pounds just a bit more than that but i will put a link in the description for those so it is with these although you do get supplied uh with the fittings it is a case of pull the old ones off and push fit these ones on the fittings are exactly the same there's no point swapping them over and I also because I've had issues before like with uh, cheapy oil filled shocks where you get them um, you'll, you'll crack them and have a look in there and there's hardly any oil what I found with these is it did look because they've got a little bladder in them as well and it did look like they was just a little bit too low so I put about five or six drops of uh, a really light fluid in there and it completely ruined the shock it made it way 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 too stiff at first I thought I got a load of air trapped in it or something had gone wrong but long story short I drained the oil out put it back to the level it was when they just turned up and that's the best thing to do so if you get yours give them like the squeeze test and if they feel all right in your fingers then if you want to check them like for for uh, the oil capacity check them but i found i thought these were just a little bit too low but when i topped them up it, it ruined them so um 
as I said, I, I would, you know, if they feel all right, just, just fit them on. Literally a five minute job. I did film myself doing it. Um, and it's really not worth it because they are, they are literally just pull the old ones off and push these ones on. It does make a difference. It's not night and day difference because even though the friction shocks were particularly baggy on this car, um, it, it, it isn't, you know, like a massive, massive difference, but at the price point, well worth doing. One of the other issues uh, with that is, if I turn that, yeah, that is round the right way, is the wheel, uh, the wheel travel is very limited with the body shell on and it would hit into the arches very easy so it rub on there so what i've done is i've quite heavily trimmed the arches on each corner uh and then i've like rubbed that down and i've added a little bit of black paint in there where uh the original paint finish had rubbed off just to tidy that up somewhat and now if i can get that on now you can actually get the full travel front and rear and it's not rubbing at all like i said it's not um it, it, it's i'm not expecting a huge amount of difference with these oil shocks i mean it's like if you've ever had uh like a, a tamiya tto1 or tto2 and you've got the cheap in and it come with friction shocks and you go out and you fit some oil damp shocks and it, it does it, it does make quite a bit of difference these are these are better there's no uh, doubt about that i'm sure that's just echoed on my mic when i did that these are better but um it's not a huge amount of difference now when i first got this a couple of years ago like when they first come out i speed ran it uh i think i got 23 mile an hour obviously fitting some oil damp shocks shouldn't make too much difference uh to the speed but um we shall give it a run because I think I can get 25 out of this because where I did speed run it was a little bit bumpy and gravelly and I've I'm, I'm gonna take it somewhere a little bit smoother we're gonna do that now and we'll see if we can beat that 23 that I got and also I'll, I'll give it a quick whiz round and we we'll see like if the handling is any different with these shocks we should design a 3d printed bracket for it or something do that run yeah. Oh, stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah. Should have a bit more grip now. The best we ever had was that the first night we got this out front was 20. Uh, I was thinking 18 maybe, or 20, but I don't know. 19, oh that's, that's terrible. Awesome. Yeah. Right, <clears throat> we'll try this one the, more. This is the brushless one, right? You 
This is the yeah breakfast. Yeah. I've got 23 out of this before. Yeah. But I, to be honest with you, yeah. <laughs> I uh, I only got 19 out of it the other day. Oh. Oh. Well, yeah, I know. Like... It's not like it's just a. Uh, you didn't get enough tire. Oh! <laughs> oh! Yeah. There he goes rolling off. The only difference yeah. is go. I've got the new suspension on it now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seems a bit faster without that on it as well. Oh, it took a bang then. Yeah. Right, let's have one more look. Let's see if we beat 19. No. no. Right, so in conclusion, 284 131 drift truck, upgraded suspension, total shit, waste of money. Um, obviously, I've mentioned the issues I had with that previously in the video. But as you saw, we speed run the car and we was getting 15 miles per hour. We're now getting 14 and handling is worse. UDI RC drift truck. The suspension uh, is slightly better, but worryingly, we were getting 23 mile an hour stock out of the box and we're now getting 19. Having said that, this car was bought two years ago. It was used and it's been parked up ever since. So it could well be that the, there's an issue with the battery with that. I think it handles slightly better, but having said that, if you're gonna buy this suspension for the, the sake of the 15 to 18 pound that it costs, I don't really think it's a worthwhile upgrade over the stock friction shocks. So there we have it. Don't bother with the upgrades on the little 284131 because they are useless. Uh, and the jury's out on that. What I need to do is uh, put a different battery in that and we'll we, we revisit this in a, a later video.